A lot of people will say that Spice Bomb is one of their most complimented fragrances, and I think I know why that is. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a little review today on Spice Bomb Extreme. Now on my channel, I've never reviewed anything with Spice Bomb, and to be honest, I've smelled Spice Bomb for a long, long time. I've really liked the name of it. I've really liked the bottle, but I don't know what it was. I just swear that I smell it just constantly and it just really, really wasn't for me. More recently, I've actually sprayed it and I kind of have found reasons why I've liked the Spice Bomb kind of smell. Right when Spice Bomb Extreme came out, I smelled them side by side. I've smelled them side by side. I very like pretty much as much times as I see them, you know, sitting around. Every time I smell Spice Bomb Extreme, I'm just like, that is way better than the original Spice Bomb. Comment down below if you want me to review the original and if you want me to do some more testing on this one, maybe testing with the original as well. I don't own a few O full bottle right now. I'm going off my past tests of this, Plus I just got a sample of it. I you know, took it for a full day of wearing and I figured out little nuances that I liked about it. The notes are vanilla, tobacco, pepper, caraway, and lavender. Now to me, this doesn't really smell too much like a tobacco-y style scent. I do smell spices in there, close to cinnamon style spices, but not just cinnamon. I noticed that when I smell just cinnamon and fragrances, it seems very simple. This isn't just a simple, you know, one, two. This is, you know, quite complex with the spices. I don't really get too much of a black pepper kind of punch personally. I don't really get too much lavender either. Um, to me, it just smells like a real cinnamony, like with other spices and sweet and really subtle. Now, a lot of people will say that Spice Bomb is one of their most complimented fragrances. And I think I know why that is because it is such a subtle, nice, pleasant kind of spicy smell. I'm so used to stuff like Herod or some of these niche ha fragrance houses. I could literally list like 10 to 15 super high oil, super spicy scents. So when I'm thinking of Spice Bomb and then people are talking about like also that they have pretty good projection, I'm pretty sure that was kind of thrown in with Spice Bombs that has really good projection. To me, it's more of a really sexy, subtle, kind of spicy scent. I think it's about $85 online for this one. Maybe the original Spice Bomb is um, a little bit cheaper, but I feel like they have a lot of similarities. To me, almost has a little bit, just like a 10% of like a 1 million style sweetness mixed in, but not so much that it would ever be, you know, disliked for that kind of a smell. And 1 million has a sweet cinnamon style punch. So I could kind of see that, but overall I do get that, that similar spice bomb style smell. And to me, I think what was throwing me off about it was that I actually needed to wear it. And the sillage of this stuff is really nice. Cause like I said, it's very pleasant. It's very light, but it's also noticeable. And I think it is sexy. So I think it's a very, very solid scent. I think it's definitely worth looking into. I know a lot of people have reviewed this one already, but I really, really do enjoy this one. But I'm still on the fence of whether it's like super effective. If you must bottle, if you want to spend 30, 40, $50, I could find fragrances with a lot higher juice content and much more of a strong spicy smell. But I don't really know if that would necessarily mean that it's better. I think the subtle sweetness in this one actually might um, bring in a lot more compliments versus those versus those super spicy scents. I think this one's a little bit more subtle, a little bit more sexy. It's got enough spice in there, but it's also not overpowering and too much. And there's just a weird little tint that makes this one kind of sexy to me. So I kind of want to put my two cents on it. I'm kind of on the fence of whether I want to bottle it or not. I'd be very interested to see what you guys think of it. This is something I definitely recommend trying and I see why people are kind of like getting a lot of compliments with the Spice Bomb DNA due to that subtlety now. It's a little bit expensive, that 85, but I think that the original Spice Bomb has pretty much all the similar style spice of this one. I think there's almost like a little bit of a 1 million style smell that's only with this one, but maybe maybe I'm wrong with that. Like I said, obviously it does not smell like 1 million. I think it's just the cinnamon in there. I find it a little bit similar. Even though there's not cinnamon in the notes, to me it just smells like a similar to cinnamon style spice. If I were to give this a rating, I'd probably give it like a, eight to an 8.5 for the smell. It's very solid. It doesn't do anything too crazy, but at the same time, I don't really have anything that mimics this subtle kind of spiciness. So I do really appreciate that. And it could be something that you could just wear so easily compared to other spicy scents. So I definitely want to you know, test that out more. So it's like eight to 8.5. The longevity and projection, like I said, it's a subtle style scent. So I'd probably put this maybe at like a firm eight because it does last a long time. You do um, have some you know, projection longevity, but it's not, you know, too like insane or strong, but at the same time, it is gonna get you probably noticed. 
I would say maybe within two, two and a half hours, a decent spray up. If you get kind of close to somebody within three feet, they're going to smell you. But anyways, guys, it's definitely something to check into. I'll be very interested to see what you guys think of it. Let me know what you like. If you like the original Spice Bomb down below and net, let me know which review I should do next. I'm going to be reviewing Zaharoff Poor Ohm, said to me by EJ Wells next. I think that has a little bit of hype behind it. I'm not too sure. I was looking out for a grant account and there was a lot of reviews. But anyways, that we're on Spice Bomb Extreme. Very solid. It's kind of opening my eyes to the Spice Bomb kind of smells. Maybe in the future I'll do a um, you know, maybe I'll get Spice Bomb or Extreme and I'll, and I'll compare them and definitely let me know um, if you want to see that in the future. If you want me to test this one out more, I definitely will and I probably might do it on my own. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. One on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.